I hate this. There's so it makes me. There's so much build. I wish I. I love running. I wish I could just go out and run and have fun. But marathons aren't fun. This is a nightmare. It's such a bad idea. It's such a bad idea. You know how bad it is for a person to run a marathon. This is 26 miles. I'm not even thinking. I'm so stupid. I guess for like the last year and a half, I've been kind of riding the coattails of my friends who've asked me to come on tour with them, and I've just been rolling with them and just kind of living it up. But before that, I would tour on my motorcycle or in my car and book my own shows and just play to nobody and sleep on the floor and get up and do it again, you know? You know, touring isn't as exciting as, as people think, because most of the time it's, it's kind of like this. It's like. I'm on, I'll check my, well, oh, it's amazing, man. I check my Facebook stats about once every four or five minutes. I, uh, you know, <laughs> every time we, uh, we pull over to get gas, I go inside. I usually have to pee. I get like a Coke or a vitamin water, or, you know, something kind of crazy, like a local Mountain Dew or something like that. And then I come back out and I usually fall asleep or, you know, search through the radio. <laughs> Do that for about eight hours a day, and then you know, play for forty-five minutes, and then, and then you're set. For the last like month and a half, I've been running my ass off, running ten miles a day. Some days, like you know, up to fourteen miles, and it's been I've been running a, a ton. And man, and then I just like got hurt, and now here I am, just like. Praying to God I don't screw up and not be able to finish this stupid race. With a film crew following. Yeah, with everybody documenting the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be much more stressed about this whole thing. What are you stressed about? Uh, not, not finishing the marathon. Not getting two miles into it. That's what I'm really stressed about. Hoping that I don't get hurt. I'm hoping that I don't totally screw it up and not do it. I mean, I'm gonna do it. But I don't have insurance. If I get hurt, then it's up to me, and it's, that's just gonna suck. I really don't want to get hurt and like walk around with a limp for the next five years because I couldn't afford or have enough sense to not run, knowing how fucked up my legs are. 
So why are you doing it? Um, because I've talked so much bullshit about it. Kind of, you know? But I'm really, really terrified of it. I've been working on this new song kind of about uh, New York City a little bit. Um, Sounds like every song I've ever heard. Huh. Well, I've been running with the wrong crowd. The kind of people say stand up and sit back down. The kind of friends that ain't friends at all. They're just people in a crowded bar. My mama warned me about these folks. And they'll smile and laugh at all of your jokes. They're gonna rub your shoulders and buy you cokes. But in the end, they're only gonna wanna stunt your growth. And I've been playing in a playground where the big kids push all the little kids around. And I'm out of my element and all that I've found is that I've never been unhappy as I am right now. My daddy taught me to choose to be whoever I wanted to be. Always encouraged me to be whoever the hell that it is that I am. And I've been running wrong crowd, the kind of people say sit down, hey, you shut your mouth, boy. The kind of friends that ain't friends at all, they're just people in a crowded bar. You describe it as like a tightness, is there any yeah. sharp tingling pain or anything like that? Not really, not like a tingling or anything, it's more like pretty sharp and feels like a real block like as if uh, as if there's like something you know blocking I don't know like my stride like I'll try okay. to walk and just like the leg like a you catch know. almost yeah exactly exactly yeah oh Here in Big Sur, and um, um, it's the last show, Dawes tour, this little run, and uh, I don't know. I don't think there's gonna be anybody here tonight. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> It's a little embarrassing to be playing songs by the ocean. <laughs> right. I wrote this song in Los Angeles, actually, um, while training for a marathon. I was, uh, I hooked up with this girl I'd had a crush on for a while. And I was, the next day I woke up and I left. And I, went, I was living in Hollywood. And I w woke up her house and left and I went back on the, um, the train. I'd never taken the train in LA before. Nobody does. It was empty. And um, I just felt like shaking everybody's hand and high-fiving everybody. Just being a Virginian in Hollywood and just being a really great person. And then whenever I'd get really depressed while running a marathon or whatever, I'd just start humming the song to myself and it'd make me feel better about myself. As stupid as it sounds, it actually worked. Well, stand up tall and be proud, hello madam. Wear a watch and give a stranger the time. Never be short, crude, mean or ugly to anyone you meet on the subway line. Cause there are two simple things that we should teach to the children. Be grammatically correct and keep an open mind. Cause cookies taste good, but they make you feel nasty. So keep your body happy through exercise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody have to do exercise and drink 
Butter and juice with a little spice of lemon. Eat raw clove of garlic every once in a while. Dead and paid appreciate learning a foreign language. And understand that immigrants have the hardest lives. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep your body up and do exercise. Stand up tall and be proud. Hello, man. Wear a watch and give a stranger the time. Understand that immigrants have the hardest lives. You know what I mean? <laughs> Welcome to Surf City, USA, California's classic oceanfront marathon. Surf City, here we run. <clears throat> 20 minutes to game time. We'll be doing three ways, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be doing three ways in our marathon. There'll be two minutes. In between each wave. I just wish I could take a dump. If I could do that, I'd feel great. So, here we go. Glad to have you out here. Thank you so much for choosing 2011 City. Alright. Guys, that's about the best entertainment anyone can ever have. But we've got some fun times. Bye, everybody. Runners, set! Take close attention, you might learn something. Those words are your own. You wrote those songs. You damn right. That's fucking right. Those are awesome. I love you, Johnny. Thanks. Wait till you hear this song. You're going to hate me. I still love you. Here it goes. All right. Everybody's undivided attention. Well, them silver penny liners. They set my mind to wonder what incredible roar and thunder is brewing on the other side. Don't never kiss below the bell before you make a slight connection, a small talk conversation, or locking of the eye. Your premature pleasures They come at such great measures A distasteful waste of efforts Will ruin the surprise And buckle in your belt When an almost silent whisper Falls softly from the lips of a man down to a stranger. I don't have to think about it anymore. I'm sorry. It's over. I regret this, and I know that we'll forget this. I didn't but the die. Only thing that I, am able I didn't to sing fall over. To you now, I'm really happy. Goodbye. Yes, I'm sorry. I regret this, and I know we'll forget this. But the only thing that I am able to sing to you now is goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much. All we do is complain We don't even make love Without pointing no blame 
looking down from above. Things have got to change.